So this is where the beginning of one of the most horrendous parts of World War II here in the Philippines happened. It's called the Bataan Death March. <laughs> Hey, you look 5.30 in the morning, boy first time's house, final helmet adjustment. Before I head off, I just gotta say it. You know you're in a Filipino compound when you see this. This is my lung guy. That's the sunrise. That's an ADV scooter that I'm taking called Spike. Let's get this going. See you on the road. Yeah. Thank you, Dad. Welcome, son. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the highway just near San Fernando, the capital of Pampanga. I drove through Bulacan, I drove through Pampanga. Check out the signage. We're not going to Angela's, we're heading straight towards Alongapo, which I believe is actually in Zambales, but just before I'm going to turn off and head towards Bataan in the city of Balanga. It has been so many years since I've head this way. And so I wanted to give it a little bit of a loop this morning and check it out. The sun is really hazy, beautiful sunrise. When it's really hot in the Philippines, you get some spectacular sunsets and sunrises. We're heading down the main road. Let's power on, 7 a.m. in the morning. Morning. <laughs> Have a safe trip. Yeah, thank you. All right. Kapong Pongen, heading for to Anne as well. Take care. Hang out, hang out, bro. This is an absolutely beautiful plaza. Welcome to the city of Balanga, the capital of Bataan. I just want to walk around here later, but priority number one, find somewhere to eat. Let's try the market, why not? All right, this is a big, good looking market gotta be food in it, at least I'm guessing, so we're going in. Very big, very beautiful market. Uh, lots of pasalubongs on my left. Looks like the wet sections on my right. I'm gonna follow my... Have a good morning, I'm I'm gonna follow all the way to the eatery. Follow what? Follow myself through the gulai to the eateries. I see them in the distance. Hello, Pong Alan. Hello, Oh, ah, Kuchintang Puti, okay. Kuchintang Puti. Kuchintang Puti. Yeah. I found the Kakanin section. This is Kuchintang Puti, probably because it's white. And at the end, Ginitaang Bilo Bilo, which I might have to get to. Pretty tinging. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Oh, a different version. Amian. Yeah. It's a mongo. Oh, it's mongo, ginitaang, bilo-bilo? Yeah. 
I think there's two versions, Mongo version Gintang Bilo Bilo and then the regular. Uh, I might have to come back for sure. Thank you, Teh. Salama. Oh man, so many kakanin. There are a whole bunch of awesome eateries here. I found Mama's eatery. I'm gonna get some fresh lumpia, sayote tops, and a torta salon. Look at them all. It's so nice here. Thank you, Ate. Sayori tops with some shrimp, some noodles. That is an awesome dish. I'm in a very good mood now. It was a great decision to come here. How can you say no to this for 35 pesos? 125 pesos for everything. Um, the food quality looks fantastic. <laughs> I am already in love with this market. <laughs> of course, but uh, oh, salama, and this is Ate. Please pour me water. Thank you, Te. Super friendly vibe here. I think I have to try Hinata Ang Bilo Bilo Mongo version. This is the eating area again. Really awesome. All right, I have two delicious snacks in my backpack. Let's go check out the Capitol building and try them out. I even got parking. Right now I'm in front of what I believe is the provincial health office in the Capitol on the backside. Uh, there's a marker here that says the fall of Bataan, 9th of April, 1942. Sealed in blood, the permanent ties of friendship and cooperation between the Philippines and the United States. Bataan is a province in the Philippines with a really deep history uh, involving the war. Of course, with the Japanese and the Americans and the Filipino people, World War II was a very uh, you know, difficult time. And it's something that I don't learn about as a Canadian because our war histories in other parts of the world, uh, we weren't involved here in the Philippines, at least I don't think so from what I learned in school. So, yeah, just interesting seeing the marker here. Uh, I'm just going to drive around to the other side of the capital. So it looks like a big complex here. Here we go guys, Ang with mongo, you can see little bits of corn, is that, what is that, one second, I'm not sure what that is, I'm gonna try this bite first, oh my gosh, I don't know what it was, some sort of root crop, but it's freaking delicious, this warm is so good, mm. I know if you're not used to Filipino food, or maybe uh, if you haven't really been around the Philippines much, you look at something like this, it might look a bit like gruel, you know, like, oh, it's not so appealing. Uh, but let me tell you, freaking delicious. Little bit of sweetness, the root crops really balance it out well. So much going on here, and it's grainy with the mongo. Get it. Get it, it is so worth it. Oh my gosh, I like this vibe a lot. Mmm. Right. Energy. Mmm. I found out with some research, there's a World War II museum here. I'd love to come back, especially with my dad, because I know he's really into that history and uh, explore more. But for now, I want to head down south 
see if we can find five fingers today and a few other markers. So back to the highway. That's where I'm heading, Five Fingers, and this is the overlooking spot of Mari Veles. Uh, I think we're about six kilometers down this big zigzaggy road to the Pavashan, and on the other side of that is a place called Five Fingers that looks really funky on Google Maps. This signage actually has a lot of different tourist sites on it, check it out. Hot Spring, River, so I think this area of Bataan is well known for its tourism. It's super hot, I'm gonna keep going. Let's head down the zigzaggy road, make our way to Five Fingers. As I've been driving along, there's been these markers as well for kilometers, but I'll explain them a bit more once we get to kilometer zero. So this is where the beginning of one of the most horrendous parts of World War II here in the Philippines happened. It's called the Bataan Death March. And the Japanese made 75,000 prisoners of war, both Filipino and Americans, literally march on foot from here all the way to San Fernando, Pampanga, which I actually passed through earlier. Uh, they were starved, they were beaten, the conditions were just horrendous, and many, many, many died. So. Uh, this is what Kilometer Zero is here. It's a very historic and sad, you know, place and historic monument here in the country. Uh, you can see they also have some history here in Filipino. And at the back there's a helmet and a gun and a monument and another kind of historic marker. Uh, again, I won't say much because I'm not a historian and being Canadian again, we didn't really learn much about this, but uh, certainly if there's one thing I've learned in my life, it's that war is never good. So, um, yeah, that's what the kilometer markers were, about to end Death March. Uh, please do look it up, a very, very difficult, difficult, difficult uh, historic reminder of what should never happen ever. This is Daryl, and he goes to MAAP. I know MAAP. Maritime Academy of Asia and the Pacific. Nice, man. Uh, basically, you're going to be doing three years here, then one year international. Yes. And is that to be become like a naval, like a... a uh, seafarer in that. Yeah, we got a Ah, cool. Okay, so I, d I didn't realize too that there's a big seafaring school here. Takasanka. Uh, I'm from... Nice one, cool. So just met them here while I was hanging out by the marker. Nice to meet you, bye. Good luck Thank with your studies. You. Thank you. Cool. Nice to meet you, Po. A lot of seafarers here in the Philippines and I think that I was wondering like what MAP was. So it's, I don't believe it's actually for uh, army or navy, it's just for seafarers. But uh, of course we're down by the ocean right now. You can see in the distance. And I'll see you somewhere by that ocean in a bit. Take care guys. Salamat. This is a very powerful coastline. Look at what is in front of me now. Five fingers.
first things first definitely five fingers as you can see there's big kind of points with coves looks really interesting to explore but there's a lot of rock pools uh, I've seen some photos of people cliff jumping it's a unique community because there's fishing as you can see right there in fact I can see fish in those in that boat uh, then there's also these massive container ships so there's industry around but then you also see a whole bunch of boats designed for tourism so this is like a hollow hollow of a local fishing community and then just some hardcore local workers and people going and doing tourism. So unique place. I won't be exploring it today because if I was going to do that, I'd probably want to be, uh, you know, with some buddies having fun, jumping off cliffs and stuff. But yeah, it looks really raw, really fun probably to scoot around with boats. And I've seen a bunch of groups today kind of hanging out and swimming. So. I'm just looking up this river now. Oh my gosh, it's like a mix of local community bath and people doing laundry. Very classic. Cool part about Ta'an. Heading to Bagak. This 41 kilometer drive is brought to you by Kuchinta Puti, which I'm about to taste for the first time. Fine! How's it going? Hey, Mr. I'm a fan. Oh. I'm a fan. A local guy showed up on ATV, one sec. Hello. I don't play Alamo bread. Floyd. This is Kuya Floyd. He just, showed, he just showed up on an ATV. Thanks, yeah. <laughs> lad. Are you just hanging out here? Or? Yeah, yeah. yeah cool, cool, cool. I love That's your cool. videos. The place is your goal. Oh, man. Dude, where, where um, did you come from now? It's Zanka Galing. I may, may racket ako dito. Oh. I, I'm, I have a small business here. Ah, cool, I cool, was cool. planning to. You look really cool, man. <laughs> right, safe. Thank you, my good sir. Take care. Thank you. Bye. 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 Super nice guy. He has a brand called Allen. Uh, told me about a waterfall nearby. I don't know if I'm going to check it out, but in the meantime. Oh my gosh. This year, seriously. Oh my gosh. That texture and taste is incredible. Get the Kuchinta Puti. It'll power you through any drive. That is freaking master app. I saw this in Google Maps. It's about a kilometer from the center of Bagak. Check out the hideout. This is a beautiful place. I'm the only person here right now. Everything's like raw and natural. Tables, seven. <laughs> Uh, they have a little Nipa huts outside here as well for chilling. And the coolest thing of all time, check out the water dispenser. Is that Rattan? Rattan? Yeah. It's cool, man. I don't know Adrian. Adrian. You can call me Adrian. That's his key, Adrian. I just uh, ordered a beef taffa burger, a chef salad, and a cappuccino. So, thanks, man. Yeah. So, so cool. I love your place. Really rad. Yeah, you there's even, you can even chill out here. Look at, there's even like a hang out under the tree area and some sort of funky looking ostrich thing I gotta show you this too, I'm waiting for my food, it reminded me of my home in Kataio Natural Vibes CR I think that's awesome even these little things I don't know what they are hello super dope place and I can imagine the evenings when the sun goes down check it out they have a little view deck that looks over the rice fields that's dope man 
Dude, we're having fun now. I'm already in the back of the cafe. And uh, Kuya Adrian was a seafarer since 2015, yeah. but he's been back doing this, although he said he might have to go on the boat soon. So, but this looks good, man. Is it it's beef tapa, no? Yeah. Cool. And then his brother is rocking it. No, no pressure, bro. No pressure. You got this. Oh, making it fancy. Nice one. Is it is it true that your dad actually made that over there by hand? Yes. And he made some of these uh, uh, furnitures, like the chairs and tables. So, so this is like the whole thing is like a do do it yourself kind of thing. Oh, no man, uh, my father is a handcraftsman. Ah, oh, that's so cool, dude. Wicked. I can't believe that. So he literally like rocked everything. Uh, with his family and he has five brothers, right? Yeah, and one of his brothers is a barista in Dubai And so when he put up this business too, he was thinking, you know, if the brother could help out or maybe the brother will come home <laughs> yeah. And he can work here, so but uh, <laughs> this is really rad. Congrats, man. And yeah, the food looks you. the food looks great. So I'm so it's thanks great. a lot, man Thank you, man. Thank you. Congrats. It's a great place. Hang out, bro. All right. That place is awesome. And I am going to end this video on that because it's such a positive experience there, too. Gotta have so much respect for people uh, who go overseas, work so hard, and then also come back, try and help the family, try and help their community you know, by putting up little businesses like that. I love how they use the local beans. Their coffee is awesome. That beef tapa burger was so good. Get it. I gotta figure out what I'm doing. I think I know where I'm gonna head, but we'll see you in the future. Power on.